Believe. What does that really mean? How can you believe in a God you've never seen? Let me answer that question, my beautiful bride. I tell you in the Corinthians, it's by faith, not sight. So now it's my turn. Let me question you. What do I say in Psalm 122? I say, let my peace be within you, my love. So have peace and let me get rid of the untruths that are being said against your name because you know what's more powerful than their words? My name. Even if they haven't surrendered their hearts, they will feel my conviction and others will be able to see through their words of fiction. I hear what they're saying and I don't believe it one bit. Relax, my daughter. It's not your job to convince. Submit yourself to me, baby. Let me take the lead. I will show them the truth. I declare that you're free. Their words are hurtful, I know, but don't focus on that, for you are not prepared for this type of combat. However, I am faithful. Even when you are faithless, all you've got to do is believe in my greatness. Be confident, my child. Hold your head high. When you are faced with allegations, let me reply. Remember what I tell you in Joshua 1.9, be strong and confident, do not be terrified. Stop worrying about what others think, rest in what I know. Do not fight back with harsh words, instead let my love flow. Respond with my words, baby, no matter how hard it is, you know how powerful my voice is, you saw it in Genesis. I love you, my baby, so rest well tonight. Let them say what they want. It's not your battle to fight. Give it to me. Go ahead and let them speak ill of you. For what do I say in Proverbs 2? Whoever sows injustice will reap calamity. And their harsh words of you to me sounds like vulgar profanity. Those who believe in me, darling, will look at your situation with wisdom. For one thing I bless my children with is my crystal clear vision. Sleep with me tonight, baby. Find peace in me. Use that faith you've got in your soul and believe. Listen to me. Focus. For you are mine. You are my little kid. I was very clear in James 4. One who speaks ill against a brother I forbid. Take a moment and let me take you to Exodus 23.1. I will hold them accountable to that verse when all is said and done. I see them, daughter. Do not listen. I can hear their accusations. You don't have the power to convince them, but your father convinces nations. Do not believe for a second that you are what they say. You have an identity in me. Do not let your mind stray. You are who I say you are. Pay their words no mind. Don't worry about what you look like to them because, honey, they're blind. I am your truth. Find yourself in me. You know who I say you are, but you've got to believe. 